Hello again, you're watching Sky News. Police say they've finally solved the mystery of the so-called cat killer. There have been hundreds of attacks across London and the surrounding counties after the uh, over the past three years, rather, resulting in a public outcry and a raft of celebrities threw their support behind campaigns to catch the culprit. Now, detectives say they've solved the mystery. Lorna Shannick joining us from South London. Have they solved it? What do the locals think? Well, as far as certainly some locals are concerned, it's very much still uh, an open case. We're on this particular street in uh, South London Cay because this is where one of the uh, dozens of cats who were found murdered uh, was killed. Harley uh, was found in April this year, just on this stretch of pavement uh, in Bromley, as you can see. Uh, and his owner that we were speaking to a little earlier on is convinced that uh, this case is not at all closed. The police, of course, are saying that uh, they think after three years of investigation, Ultimately, there's no one evil person behind these cat murders. It is simply a matter of cats being hit by cars and then mutilated by foxes. They cite, in fact, an article in the New Scientist magazine recently which talks about how uh, wild animals like foxes often do mutilate roadkill, animals who've very unfortunately been hit by cars. And they say that many of the injuries that these cats sustained are consistent, uh, the blunt force trauma, for example, with being hit by cars. Samantha, though, just not convinced. She talks about how Harley, in particular, had his tail sliced very cleanly off. And uh, when the police officer uh, told her of his death, the police officer himself said this just isn't consistent with uh, the cat being hit by a car. And she is not the only one. Uh, the South Norwood uh, Animal Liberty and Rescue and Liberty organisation have put out a statement in reaction to the uh, Metropolitan Police saying they are closing this case. They say, as you can imagine, this morning's announcement has come as a surprise and we will be taking advice on how to move forward. We consider the evidence gathered over the last three years does indicate human involvement and there is expert op uh, opinion to back this up. They go on to say the police have said that they would continue to investigate incidents where there is clear evidence of human involvement. So as far as they're concerned, this very much uh, not cut and dried, even though the police are saying that fox DNA was found on several of the bodies. And as far as they're concerned, that is why uh, they are now closing this case. The RSPCA has also got involved. They say they are pleased that uh, the case is being closed and that thankfully uh, evidence of human cruelty towards animals, particularly on this sort of a scale, is relatively rare. But Samantha, the owner of Harley, uh, as I say, not the only one saying, look, this just doesn't add up. We think that there's more to this. She has signed a petition already that has already been started by uh, locals in this area saying they want the police to reopen the investigation, continue what is going on. And uh, Samantha told me she will protest if necessary in order to get this case reopened. She said for her in particular, uh, this is a, a very sad day, not only because of the news that she's just heard from the police, but also because today would have been Harley's fifth birthday. So very upsetting for her. And as far as she's concerned, not over yet. Thank you.